question says this animal species has no predators but its habitat is lost due to desertification and encroachment it thrives well in sandy and saline areas which of the following could be the described animal okay see uh, this is a bit factual uh, piece of information so keep in mind it is the indian wild ass which uh, is said to have uh, no predators okay the indian wild has is said to have uh, no predators so keep that particular piece of fact in your mind and its habitat uh, see it is its habitat is known to uh, undergo destruction mainly because of various other threats uh, like diseases habitat degradation due to uh, like uh, the salt activities and invasive species uh, encroachment all these are the main um reasons or threats to the indian wild ass okay as such it is not having any known uh, predators okay that's why it is known uh, it is said that this animal species is having no predators so here your answer is option c indian wild ass even if you are not aware about this particular fact you can make uh, certain guesses like uh, here it is saying its habitat is lost due to desertification and encroachment at the same time it is saying it is thriving well in sandy and saline areas so sandy and saline areas you can actually imagine where that particular area is coming okay so mainly this particular animal it is uh, distributed mostly in the uh, ran of kutch region in gujarat and its last uh, population uh, the last individuals of its population is now uh, inhibiting the areas of the Indian wild ass sanctuary okay Indian wild ass sanctuary which is uh, situated in the little ran of kutch the Indian wild ass sanctuary so if you know about that Indian wild ass sanctuary which is situated in the uh, little ran of kutch okay which is situated in the little uh, ran of kutch then definitely you can actually um, relate it with this particular statement which says it is fine in sandy and saline areas so that is uh, you can e relate it and come to a conclusion that it is c indian wild ass okay next question okay the first statement see uh, next we are going to discuss question number 23 which of these uh, following statements is or are correct regarding carbon cycle so the question is with regard to carbon cycle and you have to pick out the correct statements the amount of carbon on earth never changes since earth is a closed system and second statement says blue carbon is the term used to explain the carbon captured by oceans and marine ecosystem blue carbon was a previous year question so blue carbon if you uh, have solved that pyq then you definitely uh, can recollect that second statement is right in this context why yes because blue carbon is the term which is used to explain the carbon captured by the oceans and the marine ecosystem so second statement here it is right the first statement says the amount of carbon on earth never changes since earth is a closed system okay so in that first statement you can actually imagine or you will uh, think like never is actually an extreme word so um, there are chances for the first statement to be wrong but keep in your mind this particular statement it is a fact okay why because uh, it is believed that see carbon on earth uh, there are different sources for carbon on earth which is known as the reservoirs of carbon okay which is known as the reservoirs of carbon so mainly what what is happening is that the carbon from one reservoir is actually going to the other reservoir okay from one reservoir it will uh, go to another reservoir and thus the carbon which is the total amount of carbon which is uh, there in one reservoir it cannot be a constant it can change it can go to another reservoir but as a whole when we are taking we are consider considering earth as a closed system so there we can say that carbon the amount of carbon is not changing okay the amount of car carbon is not changing there will be changes that is happening with respect to uh, the reservoirs but as a whole uh, on earth since it is considered as a closed system we can say that carbon is not changing okay so the first statement the amount of carbon on earth never changes since earth is a closed system is also a right statement so your answer here will be option c both one and two 
is next question question number 25 okay question number 25 which is a question with regard to the global tiger forum okay the global tiger forum see about global tiger forum we have studied in our organizations part okay environmental organizations part we have seen what is a global tiger forum what, what is the type of organization that it is uh, constituting or what is the main uh, functions or what are the main functions and what is the ambit under which global tiger uh, tiger forum functions we have seen all those things in our organizations class environmental organizations class so the first statement says formed in 1994 with its secretariat at new delhi Global Tiger Forum is the only intergovernmental and international body campaigning to save the tiger worldwide. And the second statement says the General Assembly of Global Tiger Forum shall meet once in four years. Okay, so both these points we have discussed in our class. See, it was formed in 1994, yes, with its secretariat at New Delhi, that is also right. And it is the only intergovernmental uh, organization now we can see that global tiger forum is the only intergovernmental international body which is campaigning towards the conservation of tiger among its uh, among the tiger range countries okay among the tiger range countries it is actually striving for the conservation of tigers now um second statement says the general assembly of global tiger forum shall meet once in four years see the general assembly of the global uh, tiger forum they are actually meeting once in three years okay it is actually once in three years and not once in four years that's why the second statement here it is wrong and your answer here turns out to be <coughs> sorry your answer here turns out to be option a one only okay so with regard to uh, the environmental organizations there are certain things that you must keep in your mind while you are studying environmental organizations there are certain things that you must keep in your mind whether it uh, be an Indian environmental organization or an international environmental organization there are certain things that you should focus upon the first thing is whether it is non-governmental or whether it is intergovernmental okay if it is an Indian environmental organization, whether that particular organization is an NGO or whether it is working under some um, uh, ministries of the environment, uh, ministries of the government that you have to focus upon. If it is an international environmental organization, then you have to know whether it is an international NGO or whether it is an intergovernmental organization. Then the main functions, the main functions or aims or objectives of those organizations then whether it is statutory whether it has come to existence uh, with the backing of the provisions from certain laws that you have to know then what all are those laws uh, if it is a statutory organization then what is the law concerning that particular organization then the chairmanship is That is who is presiding over that particular organization, who is the chairman of that particular organization. If it is an uh, Indian environmental organization which is coming under the purview of some ministries, then you have to know the ministries concerned. The ministries concerned. Then the funding patterns, etc all these are the main important things that you have to keep in mind while you are dealing with environmental organizations okay so here yes uh, the first statement it is right whereas the second statement is wrong so your answer with regard to the global tiger forum this particular question it is option a one only okay 